everyone. Thank you for tuning in to STEM with Chantel. So we're going to be looking at pool, specifically how we can use geometry to win. So there's a number of uh, techniques that we can use, and we'll explore some of them uh, as we go along. I mean, one of the best ways to learn is by doing. So we'll just go ahead and get started. I'll go and get started. All right. So it looks like we just uh, pocketed a strike ball. So, oh, actually, looks like we got a solid and a strike. So that means that we're good, really, to, to go after either. So I'll try and get this solid one down here. Now, if you notice, as I move my cursor around, you can see that it predicts the trajectory of the balls. So if I hit it about this angle, it should pocket it uh, straight away. Now, as I pull my mouse back, it's going to um, apply the force. So I don't want too much force on this one. Oh, wow. All right, so I'm kind of in a bad spot here, but I'll just do my best. So I'm actually going to use what is called the uh, law of reflection here, which states that basically at whatever angle we um, hit the rail, it's going to bounce back at that angle. So this is right here is probably, if I had to guess, maybe you know 10 to 20 degrees. It's going to bounce back at that same degree. Um, uh, once it hits the rail. So, of course I do have this other rail on the other side, so it may not work as good as I hoped. But let's just see what happens. Yeah, it looks like that other rail is probably going to interfere. And I think that's going to be a foul for me. All right, so now it is um, the computer's turn. And it's basically going to do the same thing that um, I was doing, finding the right angle, applying the right amount of force, and then pocketing um, the correct striped balls. Oh, nice. Thank you, computer. I will accept that. All right, so now, let's see. My best option is probably this orange one right here. If I can get it back in that back corner without hitting the 11. Let's give this a shot. Hopefully it'll work. Nope. It was worth a try though. So now it's computer's turn again. Looks like it's gonna try and go for that 14. And it got it. All right, looks like it's back to me now. All right, so I'm trying to think what I want to do. This number four, I think, is going to be kind of tricky, so if I can try and target either the, the two or the seven, or no, two or the five, my bad. Yeah, it's probably going to be my best bet, and this probably won't work, but if it does, I'll be happy. All right, back to the computer. It's going to go for the 11, and it got it. Looks like it's going to go for the 10 now. Perfect. Didn't get it. All right, back to me. So I'm going to go for the 2 right now. This hopefully will be pretty straightforward. Nope. Uh-oh. So he's going for the nine. Oh, man. Looks like I may not win this round. Okay, perfect. I'm going to try and get the seven back into the far corner. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go for. Not going to be easy, but let's just give it a shot. Oh, perfect. That actually sets me up pretty well for the two. Oh, unless the heat pocket's in the way. Oh, 
almost wonder. Yeah, that's actually going to be my way. I'm going to go for the five instead. This is going to be kind of tricky, but... There we go. Nice. Now, we should be in a pretty good position, hopefully, to get the two in. Yup. That, that's going to be easy right there. All right. Down to just the 10 and the 4. Oh, that's going to be tricky. Looks like we may have a shot down here. This ain't going to be easy, but... There we go. Perfect. All right. We should have a pretty good shot again. The eight ball into this um, bottom center here. Hopefully. No. Uh-oh. That ain't good. This computer now has a shot to get the 10 in. Mmm. Looks like unless he misses the eight, I'm gonna lose. That looks like a pretty easy shot too. Oh, oh, okay. All right then. So I'm gonna guess my best bet is probably gonna be this top right here. I have a pretty decent chance. Give it a decent amount of power. There we go. I thought a few times that I was going to lose there, but it looks like we won. It's all thanks to geometry and just knowing those angles. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see more STEM with Chantel videos, check out this playlist. If you want to know when JCPL puts out more content, click the subscribe button and the notification bell.